As lawyers gather, there's a lot at stake, not just the $1.6 billion damages claimed by Dominion, but also the nature of the protections afforded by the First Amendment which provides for freedom of the press. In focus are the decades-old Supreme Court rulings which provided sweeping protection for media companies even when they disseminate false information. It's not enough for Dominion to prove Fox was wrong in its allegations. It also needs to prove that the media company knew the claims were wrong but continued to broadcast them regardless. They would have to show, first of all, in terms of liability, that uh, Fox acted with actual malice or reckless disregard for the truth. And then secondly, if the jury satisfied as to that, that there's been proof of the actual damages that were incurred by the plaintiff. So both those two things would have to be found by the jury. Already thousands of internal communications within Fox have been made public in legal documents. These appear to show that the company's hosts like Laura Ingraham were privately skeptical of the vote rigging allegations, as were other network heavyweights like Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson who in private emails described Donald Trump's claims of vote rigging as disgusting. Dominion alleges that despite these private opinions, Fox continued to publicly and actively support Trump's baseless claims of vote rigging and Dominion's alleged role in that. The reason, says Dominion, the media network did not want to alienate the significant number of Trump supporters who are its viewers. Delaware Superior Court Judge Eric Davis has already ruled that Fox on-air personalities and executives will have to testify, including the company's CEO Rupert Murdoch and his son and Fox co-chairman Lachlan, who Dominion alleges knew the claims were false but did nothing to stop them being broadcast. The trial is expected to last six weeks, but the potential consequences to the application of the First Amendment could last very much longer. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington. Work is now underway to repair.